Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Security Lock feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock. Now here with us today we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy S7 Active that is originally from AT&T here in the US. We can see their logo there. And this is a device that does have the Google account lock enabled because as we can see here as we're going through the setup steps we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset and to continue we have to sign in with the account that was previously on the device. And so that's basically what the Google account consists of whenever you factory reset an Android device now these days without first taking off the Google account that's on it, it's going to ask you to log into that account again as a security measure after the factory reset has been performed. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled. And then after the purchase, the buyer discovered the phone was locked and obviously they didn't have the login information. The seller had long since disappeared and it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove this type of lock from this exact same model without having to have the login information of the previous Google account. It's actually something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this process is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can connect directly to your computer right through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did right here right now. So obviously as you could clearly see the device was on the Google lock page. And then after we ran our program that removes the lock for us, the device restarted. And now we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup steps without seeing that Google lock. So I'm just going to go through here step by step after the Wi-Fi. And then we have to agree to terms and conditions. And then we're going to keep going. It's going to check a couple things here. Actually, I think if I remember if I just turn the Wi-Fi off, I think it skips that step entirely. So let me just try that. Go back and turn off the Wi-Fi. Terms and conditions again. Okay, yep, there we go. So Google services, we're going to keep going. I think this is the part where normally it would have pulled up with the Google lock page, but now it's just skipping ahead to ask us about the rest of the setup options, which we're just going to go ahead and skip all of so that we can get through the setup process here as fast as possible. I'm going to exit AT&T's whole thing. We don't need a Samsung account, so we're going to go ahead and skip that. Let's see, we don't need easy modes. We're going to hit finish there. And yep, there we go. We've got the home screen loading up here. It looks like we have full access to all of the apps and features and settings on the device. And it is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So under about device there, we can see the specific model number of this device that is the SMG891A. So again, that's the S7 Active that's originally from AT&T with the logo on the back there. So if you have one of these models with the Google account lock on it and need help getting it off, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. 
If you hit that subscribe button while you're there, you'll also be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.